Words have power. The advocates I spoke to say hate speech has led to hate crimes happening to Asian Americans at an alarming rate. And thanks for giving my country COVID. From Oakland to San Francisco and all the way to New York. Asian Americans are reporting more hate crimes against them in the United States. Dr. Russell Jung is a professor of Asian American studies at San Francisco State University. He says his family has experienced recent attacks as well. My wife was running on a trail and someone just actually blocked her way and coughed deliberately into her face. Dr. Jung is a co-founder of Stop AAPI Hate. His group tracks reports of hate crime in all 50 states. He says since March last year, the group has logged more than 3,000 incidents reported. He believes hate speech and derogatory terms like China virus or Kung flu has led to attacks that we see today. As that term became commonplace, people made the automatic assumption that, oh, the virus is Chinese and if we see Chinese people, they're a threat because they're the disease carriers. And when they feel threatened, they go into flight or fight mode. They begin to um, attack us or they shun us. And that's what we saw time and time again. John Yang is the executive director of Asian Americans Advancing Justice. He says although we are seeing these attacks now, racism against Asians has been around for years. And the last thing with respect to prevention is making sure that people understand that Asian Americans are part of America that we aren't seen as this perpetual foreigner. Some major cities are reporting an uptick in anti-Asian American hate crime. The New York Police Department reports 28 crimes in 2020, up from three in 2019. Advocates are offering a response. Here, our organization offers what's called bystander intervention training. And so what that is, is it allows people, if they see an act of hate, to respond to it. Now, certainly we don't want people to be a, a superhero and, and jump in and start a fight or anything like that. But there's so, certainly a lot of small techniques that people can take to de-escalate the situation. And speaking of those techniques, both programs offer training on standing against racism and resources to victims. For more information, head online to newsnationnow.com. Marnie.